All right, y'all, and welcome to another edition of Underground Vision Magazine. I am on here with my man, Clifford Spud Johnson. Tell him about yourself, bro. Hey, what's happening, man? It's Clifford Spud Johnson from Inglewood, California, currently residing in Oklahoma City. All right, all right, all right. So uh, That's right. this uh, edition of the magazine is going to be called the Writer's Edition of the Magazine. So, of course, that means you're a writer. So tell them about, uh, first, let's say, when did you realize that you wanted to write? Well, my story is a, a long, drawn-out, <laughs> tragic one. But to put this spin on it, you know, I made a couple of slips and falls in my life and had to go take a extended vacation. <laughs> right, right, right. During that extended vacation, I realized that it was either I was going to stay stuck or I was going to progress. So once I came home, I can make some changes. And I just... Start dibbling, dabbling. Really, I got inspired after reading Soldiers Code, whatever. Really? Yeah. Now, that book has turned a lot of people's lives. Three. I, okay, that book was magical. And, and when, when I read that, I was like, okay, I can do this. And then I read Terry Woods, True to the Game, and Quan's Gangster. And after reading those three urban tales, I was like, okay, it's all East Coast. And I was like, like, and it was just flowing and flowing. And I'm like, okay, I can write a tale about the West to right. give them that feel. And I just started dibbling. My first, I wrote, I called, it was called To the Wheels Fall Off, and it never came out. It was just something I did. And I let the fellas around the way with me check it out. And they was just continuing and like, man, keep writing. You got something. And right. from that point on, and I didn't have never been a sport. I hadn't done nothing. It was just raw. So I said, okay, I had to fine tune my talent and took some classes and taught myself how to type with the little book, I, 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 and all that old stuff. Right, right, once right, I got right. that together, yeah, once I got the repetitiveness together and got the speed up, I couldn't stay away from the typewriter a lot better. Wow. So, um, the, so what was your second book? My second book was a book called Secrets. And I end up selling that book to Terry Woods. And that really was my introduction. Because, see, I was writing just to free my mind. Right. I wasn't writing. I never had a dream even thinking about having these many books published and all the books that I have done. I was just writing just to free my mind and just keep me peace. Right. But I wrote this book called Secrets, and a New Orleans was like, man, he gave me an article or something out of the Double XL saying that uh, Terry Woods was accepting submissions. So I sent her my book, and she was like, okay, you got some. And, oh, wow. And this was like 2005. Okay. And, and she was like, okay, when you come home, I'm like, 2015. And she's like, whoa, we can't really do no deal because we can't make no money, but let me buy that from you. So I sold it to her, thinking I'm winning. You can make some figures while you're behind that fence. I'm like, oh, it's a win-win. I ain't tripping. I got another book. She don't get to me that one. So I sent her another one called, called Confidential Reform. And these was two bangers that I'm really going to get back because she's from the urban seal now. And after that, I met a guy named Jimmy the Saint from Philadelphia. He's a good author. Got several books out. And I'm bragging to him about how I stole my books to Terry Wood. And he's like, you sold them? And I'm like, yeah. So you ain't making no more money? I'm like, no. He's like, fool, what you bragging about that for? So I'm like, damn. He's like, I'm going to get you a deal. You got some more books? I'm like, yeah, I got this book. And that was California Love. Right. He introduced me to a woman named Karen Mitchell. She had her own publishing company called True Life Publishing. And she put my California Love book out with royalties, not only just upfront check and royalties. And I'm like, royalties? I ain't even know nothing about no royalties. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? Yes, and I'm not mad at everybody because everything, it, 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 it progressed. It's way up, right. Yeah. And so anyway, Karen, her company went defunct and she gave me the, work, the rights back to my book, California Love. And then she introduced me into Carl Weber, the biggest urban book selling distribution in the business. Oh, that's, wow. who I'm, yeah, that's who I'm currently signed with. Now I got six books released from him and my next book coming out at the end of the month, May 30th. Under his Kingpin series. 
okay, okay. So, um, right. So, see, turning a negative into a positive, always a beautiful Man. thing. From the Inglewood gang life to federal prison to now being an awesome. <laughs> right. With a career right. which is making some change. There you go. <laughs> it, it, it can't happen. It wasn't planned this way, but it is filmed this way, so I just thank God. Right, right. So uh, what I want you to do is what you did a minute ago. I want you to show everybody your books so they can uh, see them. They will also be on the next page of the magazine. All uh, right, we're going to go in order then. This is the California Love Joint right here. This is the one everybody asks, do you write about your life and this and this? And this is the one that's the closest to my life. But it's not still, it's still not my life, but this is the closest one about the California lifestyle, being the blood and whatnot of that nature with a good spin behind it. Then my next book release was my Gangster Twist series. And that's, which is my best selling series thus far, this is kind of my big fake Gangster Twist. One, two, and three. Gangster Twist Four will be coming out early next year. My, my publisher's prolonging it and making it stress. And then I had these two, he don't play fair, she don't play fair. A pirate and a pirate S, I call them. Just something that you just will blow your mind. Right, and then right. I, I dabbled in a little self-publishing book right here. We made called Promises Made, Promises Broken. All my books are bangers and heaters. And once you pick them up, you can't you can't put them down to your face. Right. And I got Carl Carl Weber. You know he's a good dude because he he dealt with me while I was away. He dealt with me fairly, royalties on time with my money and everything. And now he came up with a, what I think is just an ingenious idea, a series called Carl Weber Presents Kingpin. And it's about seven different states. And each author is writing a state. And I can't really give you all their names, but the first one was Kingpin's Miami. Then it's Kingpin's Dirty South. It's Kingpin's Cleveland. Kingpin's Philadelphia. And then I'm next on May 30th, Kingpin's Oklahoma City. Nice. And he's, and he's going to write seven, uh, seven stories by seven different authors. And then he's the big dog, so he's coming in and writing number eight and going to connect all the stories together. None of us have connected with each other or collaborated. We all wrote our own book and turned it in. And he's taking them. He's going to read all of them. And then he's going to work his magic like that. That sounds pretty freaking cool. Yeah, that's, that's, cool. that's hot. I'm just trying to make mine be the, the standout out of all of them. <laughs> you know? And I haven't even read them. I haven't read none. I said, I'm not going to read them till all seven are out. And um, I, read them. I just want to wait. So, and then he's going to select which ones come out in which phase. No, they're already out. The other oh, really? four, four have already been released. I'm next up, number five. And then okay. we got two more, and then he's going to write the finale. Okay. And that's and called Carl Weber Presents Kingpin Series. And um, does he just deal with our um, 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 book writers, or does he deal with uh, poets and stuff of that sort? Right now, he's strictly urban. I mean, he has like sixty authors. He's like I say, he has the biggest distribution deal in the urban genre. Okay. He's, he's really like the big dog, and it's the only one that's really making serious money from the publishing standpoint. Right. And he, he has a distribution deal with Kinky, the big dog. Nice. That's why my books are everywhere, and Barnes right. are everywhere. And uh, he's dabbling in the movies now. He just had a movie called uh, The Man in 3B, and he's in the process of making another one. And like I keep whispering, when is we going to turn Gangster Twist into something? We need to, you know, because movies yeah. are a dream. Man, I mean, I ain't going to go there. I'm sick. Hey, hey dog, the sky's yeah. the limit. The sky yeah. is the limit. No doubt. No don't doubt. Let, don't ever let nobody tell you that there's such things as a glass ceiling. Hey, man, Bye. it ain't. You throw a rock, that mother will break one. <laughs> Believe it. Trust me. I already know what I done came from. <laughs> Man. <laughs> uh. So, uh, so you you're from Inglewood. Um, I have a lot of people from Inglewood right now. Uh, <laughs> um, what would you say to a young dude um, in Inglewood that's not sure where he wants to go? You know, he might want to go left, but his boys tell him to go right. And he's just confused. Because we all been there. Stay right and be patient, man. Everything will come to you in time if you be patient. I came from where you come from, and I went way left and went a long way and just feel lucky to make it. Stay right. Be patient. I mean, 
You got the land opportunity, man. You can do anything you want to do, but you have to have patience. By being in Inglewood, uh, we, you know, we it's Los Angeles County, so it's all the Los Angeles, the California mentality. However, when you be there, you see a lot. Growing up in your neighborhood, you see the flat, and you, it, it makes you lose your patience and sway you over to that side. And I was one of those ones, you know what I mean? But be patient. Be patient, and it'll come to you. Trust me. Because the other way, you're going to be right there on Inglewood, right there, what is that, uh, Prairie and Florence, and then take <laughs> Inglewood printed resting place. Because I got a whole lot of people up in there already. Thank right. God. I'm right there. So be patient. That's what I would tell you. Just be patient. Take it one day at a time, and you'll be all right. That's that, that's good knowledge. Very good knowledge. And it's so, first hand knowledge. Hands on. <laughs> I have the scars mentally and physically to prove it. Yes, sir. So my next question is, um, I saw a picture. How did you end up meeting 50 Cent? Because I'm curious about that one. 